academic adolescence. When I was considering a PhD, as a natural consequence of my academic path, uh, many of my mentors and even some of my friends uh, were skeptical. You're a woman with a computer science master. And then he asked me an interesting question, which I have up there. I said, he said, what would you rather work on, telephones or computers? And I realized that I knew the answer to that. I'd rather work on computers. I joined IBM Quantum. It's interesting, Marta, that you bring up culture and just the vibes of, of the culture. Um, there are so many startups in Quantum and culture is so critical to get right from the beginning because we're all growing like mad. There's a lot of money coming in. There's a lot of people pouring into the field. And so one thing I think about constantly as a leader at Zapata is how which pieces of this culture do we want to cement so that we can scale and, and stay true to, to those vibes that you mentioned. So the mindsets that our founders had and our first hires. And then also, where do we want to evolve and more? In Australia, we uh, start by traditionally acknowledging the owners of the land, that which we're all um, in Australia that we're meeting on, particularly going back to the 2018, um, recognizing our indigenous people. Uh, they had a real focus on the importance of women. And I thought that was really relevant today. I'm speaking from the um, the land of the Eora Nation and the Gadigal people and want to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Our Indigenous people have got m many things for us to learn from. The D-Wave computer is something called an, a quantum annealer. And the quantum annealer can simulate one and only one Hamiltonian. It simulates the icing model in a transverse field. Now you'd think, well, why is anybody interested in just that? Well, it turns out a, a icing model in a transverse field is very important for a lot of optimization problems. So if that's what your interest is in, then this computer can, can simulate it. But the problem is it isn't a general quantum computer in that you can't program its circuits except for doing the, the parameters of the icing model in the transverse field. And what's more, and I hate to, to, to pick like this, but studies have shown that it's not really, it has quantum aspects. It's not really full quantum computer. The qubit's not really entangled. So um, uh, that is the difference. The D-Wave is not uh, a general quantum computer, and it's not a com quantum computer in the way that one would talk about, like a general computer like IBM's. And the Navy was an amazing school of life. It taught me a lot. The importance of value, honor, the sense of community, the valor, the discipline, the discipline with myself as well. And I learned leadership, teamwork, looking after my staff, also fast decision making, tricky situation management, and I had to manage quite a of some uh, tricky situation. Starting off, I would like to say that I've definitely been one of the luckier girls growing up. I was born in Eastern China in a city close to Shanghai. And my family had a great influence on me. My grandpa at a young age was inspired by his grandpa to pursue science. On the picture on the right, you can see a picture of my grandpa when he went to MIT. And as a kid, I spent most of the time at my grandparents' house, who are both chemists, by the way. They really cultivated my curiosity for this, my surroundings. That was very interesting. Somebody asked about quantum supremacy. And this has, has to do with the whole question of when will we get to the point where a quantum computer can do a calculation um, a better than um, a classical computer. And this is a very subtle point because, I mean, look at the calculation I just showed. I'm not going to make any claim for supremacy or quantum advantage or anything with the calculation I just showed, but in some ways, running on the hardware simulate was able to model the experiment better than the approximate theory, which is as good as can be done on a classical computer. It was my job, I think, also as one of the new members 
to remind also my strong people, my strong men in our political party that, you know, half of the population are women and we are really bright and we are really bringing a lot of impact into society, into politics, into uh, everything.